was preparing the pitch and I was thinking about Hello Tomorrow no, Challenge. Okay. What challenge you can take? You can try to uh, run the mile in less than four minutes. Oh. Or if the click, okay. GFK took the challenge of taking the man to the moon. You can try to express emotions, uh, movement with a stone like Michelangelo did. To us, our challenge was to make airports more efficient, more available, closer to people. Um, we tried to perform operations, maintenance operations in airport with a drone instead of a plane. So taking a drone inside an airport, that's really a challenge. Today, I was advised to change the market. So imagine the deal that we are trying to close here. Fortunately, challenge was accepted. And here we are in an airport in Holland, trying our system, checking the navigational aid of the airport. We are Canard Drones, smart drones for smart airports. I'm Rafael Aguado, co-founder. And with our system, airports are able to save millions to the airport while improving the runway capacity. But let me tell you a little bit more of what we do. You need to press hard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the most important thing in this picture, besides the pilot who is on the left, is these four lights that you can see there. Those four lights send critical information to the pilot about the correct glide slope, if he's, basically if he's landing correctly or not. Those lights have to be checked, inspect, calibrated every three, six, one year. But how do the airports know if the, if the lights are working or not? Well, the only chance that they have right now is use a plane. This kind of plane, full of uh, expensive equipment, two pilots and an engineer have to go up in the air and check with their own eyes if the system is working or not. But using a plane only brings problems. Here we are. It brings a direct cost of about 1.2 billion. They have to shut down the runway during the process, so generating an um, opportunity cost of three billions. And believe it or not, the, avail the availability is so low that in Spain, under uh, unexpected calibration, we have to ask a service provider from uh, UK. So if we are in the era of drones, why don't we use a drone? And that's what we thought. This is our first version. Uh, don't run away, it's not a bomb. But <laughs> it allowed us to test our purpose. We made it fly, but it's still a bit clumsy. And now we have something that really makes us proud, Raven 2, which is our platform. Uh, we have our own calibration uh, software. We have uh, our own operation. And most importantly, uh, nowadays, we are an official drone operator, and we are certified and approved by the civil aviation authorities. This year has been hectic. Uh, we received an award from the European Space Agency. We uh, won the second call from the FinoDex European Commission program, best company out of 350. We closed a deal with Microsoft, and let me <laughs> tell you that uh, when, when I put the, the logo there of Hello Tomorrow, I was not expecting to be here, but now I'm really glad to be here. <laughs> We are not only receive awards, but we are already in conversations with uh, Airports du Paris, uh, Schiphol Group, and Hermes uh, Airports in, Cip in Cyprus, and as well uh, for AENA in Spain. Our business model is simple. We provide the service for a fee. Uh, the market is around 42,000 airports around the world, and 30 of them are already in our leads. That will bring, or we expect to bring, 2.6 million to our pipeline in the next year. Now, yes. Nothing will be possible without the team. <laughs> Four engineers with MBA that brings more than 60 years of combined experience in the biggest aeronautical and telecommunications program in Europe, including Atlanta, the first tactical UAV for the Spanish Army. Um, we are here looking for funds, but looking for contacts, more importantly, in the industry. Uh, we want to... Uh, uh, close our seed round to be able to roll out the puppy. Today I was I received the 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 advice from one of the from Michelin from Mark, saying you have to go quick. You have to 
you, you cannot uh, rely on your IP. You have to rely on your speed, and that's the reason for being a startup. So we want to quickly rely out the, our solution, and we want to finish our, the development of other system called ILS. So we took the challenge. We accepted. I'm super glad to be here. Uh, we are Canar, smart drones for smart airports, and maybe in smart investors. Thank you. I'm Rafael. Thank you.